No longer trying to kill this mosquito. Three videos now, this killer. Normally I'm a non violent person, but. Now, what are you doing, Mats Gilco? I got 93, Philip! 93? Last time you do a Mats test, you get 41. How you jump from 41 to 93, Ling Ling? I feel you cheating on us. Oh, ta ta ta, Ling Ling not cheat. Ling Ling loyal. I've been watching Corwin Springer's videos. Who's Corwin Springer? Shout out to Certify Samson for that video and Ling Ling and Ling Ling Good luck with your maths exam on May the 9th Watch it with them fellas them too Watch it with them fellas too. Alright so let's take a look at these past people questions for inequalities First one we're going to look at is January 2018 part 2B. So most of the times they give you a, a linear equation and then when you solve it you need to put it on a number line. No different this time. So the X is on the left hand side, let's keep it there. First thing you need to do is bring across that 3. This is going to be 2. 5 to 3 is 2. Then we need to bring across this negative 2. Remember that if we divide by a negative number, the sign must switch. The answer is that. 2 max. Never gotten 2 max faster than that before. X is less than negative 1 on the number line. We draw a circle. We do not share the circle since there is no equal sign with the alongside the inequality. And we are going in that direction. Less than. X is less than. Since the small side is pointing x, it means less than. Party done. Let's do another question. So in this one we had similar setup. 8 minus x less than 5x plus 2. Let's bring the x's on one side and the numbers on one side. 8, negative 2, bring it across, 5x plus x now because we didn't interfere with any negative numbers in terms of division or multiplication we're just bringing across terms right the sign remains put we can call that 6x and we can call that 6 bring across the 6 now we'll get 6 over 6 plus the next yeah. so once i didn't make any mistakes here this is correct um but you you would most likely want the x and this side of things but remember if we swap both sides the sign will switch so it will always the fat side the open side will always be matching the x since it started off matching the x x must be greater than or equal to one here's one this way is greater equal to means shape three max fun right so january 2018 part two this is the last one we'll do since I think you catch the hang of it. So there's something a little different in this one, but let's jump into this, since this is food. We'll be able to do this part quickly. So 2x, 2x, bring across the 7, and we will get less than 3 plus 7. 2x is less than 3. 2 plus 7 is 10. So x is less than 10 over 2, less than 5. No switching of these signs because we didn't do any fishy business. So x is less than or equal to 5. What are you asking us here now? If x is a positive integer, so like positive integers are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is the possible values of x. Oh, so since x must be less than or equal to 5, less than or equal to 5, x can be 5, x can be 4 x can be 3, x can be 2, x can be 1, x can be 0 because we only want positive integer. x is a positive integer. List the possible values of x. And that's the end of that question. And that's the end of the easy pattern inequalities. What's next that I'm looking to do is linear programming. Now linear programming gives people a lot of problems. So if you want to know how to sort of linear programming, Stay tuned for the next video.